says to my beautiful wife-to-be, I can't believe our day is finally here. I've never been more confident in any decision I've ever made. To my handsome groom, can you believe today is really here? It blows my mind to think about this being the beginning and that the best is yet to come. As I am writing this letter, instead of being scared of what the future will hold or what could have been without you, I am sitting here completely content and couldn't be happier. You're the best thing that has ever happened to me and I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. Hey. Oh wow, that's so beautiful. It's the coordinates of Southwind Hills on a map and then our wedding date in Roman numerals. So beautiful. I know. I'm so excited. So am I. <laughs> I knew that Ryan was something special from one of the first times that I saw them together. I would love to say that I remember that time together, but let's be honest, that seems like a hundred years ago. Five years into Ryan and Laura's relationship, things are getting pretty serious. Seven years come and go, eight years come and go. So I thought one of three things is going to happen one day. He's either going to confess his love for me. <laughs> He's gonna tell me that he's really a woman, or he's gonna tell me that Laura's really a man. Well, then he calls me one day and said, hey, I bought the ring. Mine is blown. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, y'all. I'm so stunning. Hi, hubby. <laughs> Don't turn around yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying to see you. <laughs> Nervous? You excited? Yep, I'll be both. <laughs> check, check, check. So here you are, Ryan. You were born in Plano, Texas. Laura, you were born in Midwest City, Oklahoma. And uh, when you were in high school, you met, you began dating as juniors, and uh, you have a home now down in the Dallas area. It's been cold out, and now I'm coming home. I was reading about your hobbies, and I've got to say, I lean more toward Ryan's hobbies of cars and trucks than I do to Laura's hobby of running, and <laughs> she ran in a marathon this past Sunday. Since skipped out. <laughs> Do what? I skipped it. Oh, you skipped it? I did. <laughs> but I thought about it. You shouldn't have told They wouldn't have known. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> so here you are. God has brought you together. He's developed your relationship where you can stand before him. You can stand before your family, stand before your friends and say out of all the others in the world, I choose you to be my companion for life. Ryan, I want you to know that you are truly a blessing to Laura. You are such a hardworking, kind-hearted person and exactly the man I always hoped Laura would marry. I just want both of you guys to know I love you dearly. You guys have been a blessing in my life. and. I couldn't ask for a better friendship than what we have. It's going to be so much fun to watch the two of you guys grow in your relationship together. So I want to ask everyone to raise their glasses in honor of Laura and Ryan, and maybe some babies too. <laughs> myself. I write off myself. <laughs> <laughs> Completely to you, Laura. Completely to you, Laura. Open up the door and see you there. I, Laura. I, Laura. Offer myself completely. Offer myself completely. To be your wife. To be your wife. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. With all of my heart. With all of my heart. And to be true and faithful. And to be true and faithful. And all 
unselfish in this love. Unselfish in, in this love. In this love. <laughs> like I told you, this is not a pass fail. Yeah. <laughs> so far, I'm doing pretty good, though. I promise to stand before you always. I promise to stand before you always. In times of joy. In times of joy. In times of sorrow. In times of sorrow. And I pledge myself. And I pledge myself. In all that I am. In all that I am. Well, at this time, if you'd like, you may kiss your husband. Oh, I